G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Welcome back to my channel. So, I found this article pretty interesting. Uh, as I've been saying all along, I think DeFi uh, is going to be the next thing that's really going to push uh, crypto to the to the masses. That's what's going to get people to really buy in. It's what's going to push the prices up. But this uh, is a little bit troubling to maybe say the least. So DeFi's fairness questioned as super users dominate. So basically what this article goes on to talk about is that a lot of the uh, DeFi programs, uh, the whales basically, big business and all the rest of it, have got in and they're just using bots to you know, out trade everyone and you know, get all the uh, slippage and arbitrage and all the rest of it. And it's just making it hard for the little guys now that's not to say that the little guys can't make any money in there. Uh, you know, I've been doing a ride, right. I made a few dollars here and there, and just buying the tokens uh, and watching them appreciate is also something that I uh, see continuing on. And again, once we really get into the full massive bull run that uh, will eventually come, everyone's going to be piling into this DeFi stuff. So holding the tokens, uh, you know, I'm hoping that that will sort of uh, be enough just by itself without you know actually using the uh the applications all that much it's not to say i won't use them i, I definitely will be using the applications i'll be using kyber and you know i'll stake with kyber and i've used uniswap uh, and i use synthetics you know and i'm waiting for Carva to well they've got the wallet out now the uh the wallet that you can now uh i guess stake well it's not really staking but uh put your BNB up for collateral, so I haven't got that going yet. I, I have staked their uh, Carver coins though, so I've been doing that. But yeah, it is a little bit of a shame that, you know, big business and yeah, in industrial, uh, <laughs> well, not so much industrial, institutional money gets in and then yeah, they make it really hard for the little guy. So yeah, if you want to check that story out, go after Coin, go over to Coin, Coin Telegraph, sorry, and have a bit of a look. Now, another one that I found, the days of Bitcoin doubling in a week are over, says a, a fintech CEO. And look, I'd have to agree, Bitcoin's just got too big. It's way too big that you're going to see Bitcoin double uh, in a week. I don't think it's impossible, but I, I think it's going to be really, really hard for me. There'd have to be some absolutely massive spike to come along to get Bitcoin to go from you know 9,200 to... 18,400 in the matter of a week. It's it's just unlikely, I, I would have to agree. The days of it doubling are long gone, but a lot of the other coins in the market, I think there's still a uh, quite a good chance that they could uh, double in a week. I think Ethereum could easily double in a week once it gets into a bull run. It's still uh, very undervalued in comparison to where it was, although you know there's talk that Ethereum 2.0 is not going to happen this year and uh, the full rollout of Ethereum 2.0 not, might not be for a few years still. Uh, that's yeah, really disappointing. You know, if They've been promising Ethereum 2.0 for a while now, so yeah, if it can't even get just the staking part up this year, I think Ethereum is going to really start to struggle, especially with Cardano. You know, they've moved into staking and there's plenty of other platforms. That, well, Cardano is about to, so they say. Maybe they'll all of a sudden say that they can't, but they have it working on the, the beta testnet Cardano at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, yep, I, I agree. I don't see Bitcoin doubling in a week anymore. I think those days are long gone. You're going to have to be looking at altcoins for the possibility of that happening and even then i'd be very very careful uh, i wouldn't be rushing out buying coins thinking oh, i just wanted to double in a week that's a a pretty big ask now sticking to the DeFi, a uh, new class of crypto assets will outperform bitcoin and ethereum in the next bull run and it basically just goes on to talk about uh DeFi coins uh, and this is what it says. Mainstream, mainstream attention is not yet on this thing. There are actually a lot of crypto investors who aren't in DeFi yet either. Uh, the reason being is it's not attracting mainstream interest. And that's true. Mainstream haven't got into cryptocurrency yet. We definitely have some institutional money uh, and investors that have come in, but not the really, really big ones yet. And until Bitcoin gets over that $20,000 mark and starts to push up from uh, its old all-time highs, that's when you'll really start people getting see people getting invested. They'll be like, all right, this is going up. And that's when they're going to jump on. And I'm not saying you couldn't jump on after that, but you'd probably want to jump in 
if you're going to get in before it hits its uh, old all-time high because then we don't know how high it'll go after that you know the chances are likely based on what bitcoin's done that it'll push fairly high from that but you know maybe it's changed and now bitcoin you know its next all-time high will just be 21,000 22,000 and we go into another bear market no one really knows at the moment so uh they're also not the easiest thing to buy. Yep, crypto still aren't easy to buy sometimes. You've got to go through KYC and that. A lot of these coins are unknown. Even the concepts are hard to understand and to acquire them is also quite difficult. Uh, totally agree. Some of these new DeFi uh, platforms, you know, it, you really need to understand cryptocurrencies and just how to use a computer uh, as well. There's plenty of people out there that aren't all that computer and tech savvy. So, you know, Trying to buy crypto is going to be hard. Then trying to use it's going to be hard. Trying to store it's going to be hard. We still have a bit of a ways to go. I think the younger generation, they're going to be all over this uh, and they'll pick it up quite quickly. But, you know, the older generation and just people who haven't grown up around, you know, tech, they're probably going to struggle. I'd say most people can use a mobile phone and thing these days pretty easy. But outside of that, they might struggle. Now, these altcoins by far have the have been the best performers for the past couple of months. 100% they have. Uh, the DeFi tokens have been absolutely smashing it. Uh, and I think they will continue to do so for a while as well. But that's just my opinion, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I think they will be the biggest gainers when we really get into this next bull run. But, you know, of the, I don't know, how, there's probably 50 of them out there now. How many of them are actually legit and good uh, projects? Well, you've got to do some research and make your own mind. Uh, I might do a video in the future of uh, DeFi projects that I like, but even if I do, that's just the ones that I like. That doesn't mean they're uh, the duck's nuts or anything like that. Again, do your own research, make your own mind up. Don't just take one person's word. I mean, you can have a look at things uh, like Comp. It ripped to $1 billion market cap. It did that very quick, and it did that with the help of uh, Coinbase, but it has uh, retraced significantly from then. Uh, things like Lend, so Aave, which has done almost a 100x now. Uh, I got some Aave, and I'm up 100%, uh, so I've doubled my money. Uh, pretty happy with that, and I only bought, yeah, I only bought the Lend token like maybe two months ago or something like that. Uh, and you have Link, which has just ripped to new all-time highs. Uh, as I said in my uh, video yesterday, Chainlink is up over a thousand percent from its ICO price. It was eleven cents at ICO. Wow! Anyone still holding it? You would have to be cheering. So these coins are flying every single day, regardless of what Bitcoin or F or the rest of the cryptocurrency market does. Right now, money is being allocated to these DeFi altcoins. It's true. It's pouring into it. Uh, Again, it's the space at the moment. It's been the best performing group, and I actually think it will continue to be the best performing group. Uh, I would have to agree with the person who wrote this. I think DeFi, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, money to be made in DeFi, in my opinion. Uh, and once we get to the, the pointy end of the bull run, uh, I have no doubt it'll be similar to the ICOs. You'll be able to put your money in just about anything, and uh, things will double overnight. But again, the problem is, you know, if some kind of glitch comes up in just one of these protocols, and a bigger glitch, not a minor glitch, you know, there's been some glitches already, but it's things like that that will hold it back, and particularly any project you're involved in. If it has a glitch, then you can pretty much almost just kiss it goodbye. But if something, if a really big sort of glitch comes up, and especially if they're, you know, a lot of these new DeFi platforms that are coming out are legit scams, that's going to really hurt the industry, particularly when we get to the peak and then it, you know, it starts to make its way down and we go into our next bear market. Again, you know, depending on when you got these coins is really going to depend on whether you've done well and whether you've sold at the right time and bought at the right time and things like that. But I think in the grand scheme of things at the moment for this next bull run, we're still very, very early. I think, again, it'll be December next year, so not this year, if not even later when we really get to the peak of the market. But just my opinion we'll have to wait and see every uh, cycle is pushing out a little bit longer uh, it's taking longer to get to the bull run uh, and then the bear markets are running for a little bit longer as well so yeah just something quick i thought i'd go over uh you know a few interesting points there uh let me know what you think uh what's your favorite DeFi project at the moment uh and how have you been doing uh in 
in your returns. Again, most of my DeFi projects, they're up around about 100%. And I've even got a couple that are around 200% uh, and one or two that were nearly at 300%. But they've retraced a little bit in the last sort of week or two and now they're just sitting sort of, I think about 220, 250%. But pretty happy with that. I've more than doubled my money on those. So yeah, I can't complain. All right, anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you got some gains today and I'm out.